What's up guys, John and Shreese here outside ABC Action News, WFTS. If you guys want to know more about the Titan lifestyle and more about what me and Sharice do behind the scenes, tune in. Every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC Titan Medical Center and we'll see you there. So it's pretty cool in the lobby. WTF. Yes. And uh, the show is coming to you guys this Sunday. So we're in here just trying to finalize some of the other details that we have going on and uh, make sure everything is tip top for your guys' viewing pleasure. So if you guys want to see it, Sunday, 11 a.m., ABC. I don't care if you're on Frontier Spectrum, as long as you're in Florida, from Crystal River, Sarasota. And if you guys are not in the state, don't worry, we're gonna be posting for you guys to check it out and see everything that's going on. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and uh, as you can see, I've got our new Titan family member, Sasha. So Sasha is here with me, she's my service dog. She'll be with me all the time now, you can see. And Sasha's really, really cool, and she can do a lot of tricks, she's very intelligent. So, really happy to have her, and I wanna give a big shout out to Coastline Canine and Eric and all the crew there for helping me out with Sasha, getting Sasha to me, coming with me, training with me, making sure that I'm gonna be comfortable with her out in public, and everybody else is gonna be comfortable with her out here in public too as well. So really excited to have her at the office, at the house, and along with me on my journeys. So we see Sasha, give her a big thumbs up, show her some love. Please don't pet her though, okay? So at that point, uh, I'll be having her around the office. I'm gonna show you guys some of the cool training that Eric has put me through. So Coastline K9, big thumbs up to those guys. Go find them on social media, give them a like, tell them John from Titan sent you, okay? Uh, much love to you guys, and let's see what Sasha can really do. All right, Sasha? Sasha Hill. Good girl. Good girl. We're going to take over to the Florida Aquarium, walk through there. I'm going to train her and walk with her. And um, at this point, Peter is going to walk with her and train with her too as well. Because obviously, she's going to be around me or the household. But if I'm not there per se and Peter's there alone, then she's going to be there with him too as well. She does have a, a couple uh, protection sport traits too. So she's really, really cool as far as that goes. Um, girl can jump like you wouldn't believe and is uh, just awesome all the way around. So let's take her over there. Let's have the walkthrough experience with Sasha, with me handling her and my son Peter handling her. So we are 
here at the Florida Aquarium. Um, it's our first time taking Sasha, our service dog, out into the public. So Eric's with us, he's the trainer from Coastline K9. Um, and at that point, just want to see, listen, how it's going to be, right? Whether it was getting deflected at the front door or, you know, how she's going to act in a crowded place, even walking by little kids or seeing animals. And there's some, well, these are flying free birds in here. So, you know, at this point, like, I guess if a dog was uncontrolled, then it could probably do some damage to some of these birds. So at this point, we're going to walk through here and uh, to see what other critters are around here and see how she reacts to some of the different things in public. So come along with us. Check out the Florida Aquarium and Sasha doing her thing. It's like a dance move. Learn how to dance with Sasha. Even a mover. Much. Foose. Sit. So we just got done with our Sasha Florida Aquarium experience, and it was a successful one, thank God. I uh, walked through, open birds, she was fine with it, seeing these different animals, she wasn't jumping up. That's a good thing, right? That's definitely a good thing, especially for a service dog. Um, so it was really, really good. You know, nobody like went crazy seeing her, so thank God on that. There was a couple people that tried to touch her, and you know, obviously you don't need to take away from that situation. And it was pretty cool because Eric, Eric was telling me, hey, listen, you want to move them to the side, maybe you see kids or whatever it is, or just different situations, scenarios. Like we were sitting in the gift shop and there was a kid behind us, a little baby, in a little baby chair and had a, a plush toy. Well, she looks at it and of course she wants a plush toy. So instead of keeping her there and, and putting the temptation on her, we moved her out of the situation so she would be good to go. So uh, yeah, successful experience with Sasha in a public place. And this is my second one of the day, Pete's first one. So it was, it was really, really good. Really, really good. In a uh, public place? Yeah, third. Where'd you go? For Starbucks. Oh. And, uh, went to walk around the place. True that? Yeah. So, so, so Pete's, Pete's doing good. He's definitely doing good. Doing All right, so we're going to walk back to Titan and uh, give Sasha some water. I'm sure she's dying of thirst right now and get her all situated and all, all cool. And then I'll be getting on Titan Talk. So thank you guys and more videos to come. What's up guys, John here from Titan, here at the main headquarters, downtown, channel side, Tampa, Florida. Beautiful sunny Friday, right? Gotta love that. And uh, I just got this bad boy back from getting freshly wrapped, all ready to go. 2022 Challenger Hellcat Red Eye Jailbreak Wide Body Titan Medical Center Edition. You like that, right? This thing is awesome. Um, I've never owned a Challenger or a Hellcat or anything before. Obviously, I like some sports cars, but this is pure American muscle right here. It's big, 
it's powerful and it is fast and uh i think it looks really good especially with the type medical set all over it it looks really really good so you know this thing has all the bells and whistles that these things could possibly have in it um it's got crazy crazy red leather demonic interior too as well so uh let's get in this bad boy take it for a ride and see what the red eye hellcat challenger 2022 jailbreak wide body titan edition is all about let's go this thing man it just doesn't look mean it sounds mean I haven't got on it down here, but you can hear the when it really starts whining up, <laughs> that whining sound, and you know you're in the power band and ready to go on this thing. So you know I have to break this thing into 500 miles to really get it up, um, and I'm only like at 365 right now, and that's just like just joy riding around, taking it back and forth from the the wrapping place and such. But uh, this thing, you know, when it does get up over 500 miles, I'm gonna take this thing to the track and really see what it can do. I'm um, really excited about that, you know, I mean, listen, I want my body to perform just like the sports car, high performance, powerful, right, and a force to be reckoned with, so at that point, this is like almost inspiration, and uh, you want to do it to yourself and to your body and make it like this, so it's pretty cool too, so even at nighttime, this, there are LEDs in there, and this goes all red, so at night when it's dark, this will be lit up in red, which is really, really crazy. Another fact that I didn't know, because I've never owned one of these before, is that when you have a, a Red Eye Hellcat, whether it's a Challenger or a Charger or whatever it may be, um, they give you a variety of sets of keys, like two red keys, two black keys. So I'm like, well, what's the difference, All right? Well, to get all the maximum horsepower out of your car, you have to have the red key. And it'll tell you if you have the red key in or not. Um, so if you don't want somebody to really get on your car and you're letting them drive it, give them the black key, okay? Or your kid or whatever it may be. You know, the red key should be just for you or if you want to unleash the beast per se, right? Yeah. All right, guys. So you've seen it inside and out and on the street. I hope you guys like it just as much as I do. Trust me, this thing is killer. So stay tuned. I'm going to be bringing more pictures and videos of this weekend because we're going down to festival speed with the three trios, the Lambo, the C8, and the Red Eye Hellcat now. So join us. You guys are going to love the content. And I hope you guys enjoy the car. Later, guys. What's up guys here at one of my vendors got to get some stuff done for uh, a couple events that are coming up gonna get some embroidery done real quick like within a couple days and uh, thankfully I got some people that can do it for me got to pick up some other stuff too I got so many vendors all over the country that do a lot of stuff for us you know so from custom making some of the clothes to embroidery and all that good stuff I know I had some stuff to pick up, and then I was gonna, I was gonna drop some stuff off too as well. Um, do you want to tell you kind of what's gonna go on it? Yeah. Or? Okay. It should be all tank tops and stuff like that. Yeah. I can go through that with you right now sure. and kind of give you what it is. Um, actually, I've got one of the samples I think in the car right now, and then my wife's bringing over the other sample of what the other tank tops are gonna look like, okay. so you guys have exactly what it should look like. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, I like to replicate exactly yeah. how it is and try to bring a sample every time, just in case. Okay. Cool. Um, let me go grab the other one that's out in the car, and then we'll go through with this stuff too. Awesome. There's gonna be a lot more stuff coming from these guys for sure. Um, so for this, obviously color-wise, white, 
and I guess on the rest we'll, we'll do white ink. So right now, going through some of these uh, these tank tops that we're doing right now to get the printing down. It's gonna be a lot of stuff that we're shipping out for these events, so we've gotta get it right. All right, let's roll. Thank you, guys. All right. So that's done. We'll get my hopscotch here. Yes. <laughs> Time to head back to the office and handle all the other business the Titan Medical Center has for me to do. So, I'll see you guys later. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cubist Corner. That's right. Every week on Sundays at 11 a.m. on ABC, you'll get to see me and my beautiful wife here talking about things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and enhance and take your relationship to hopefully a whole new higher level, right? And even if you're not in a relationship, don't worry because you guys can store this knowledge tips and tricks and all this good info in the back of your mind so when you get into a new relationship you're going to set yourself up for success all the way through and through and if your partner's not reciprocating you might learn one way to help them start reciprocating very easily that you might not know before so this year you know we want to start off with New Year's resolutions, okay? Of course, might, the brand new year. Brand new year, right? Got to have all kinds of new things we're going to do. Yeah, so I mean you know, this is something that's very common with everybody around the country and the world, I think, that every New Year's, you want to do a New Year's resolution. This is something that's going to, you know, hopefully motivate you or put you in some sort of direction to accomplish some sort of goal. And that goal could be weight loss, which is the number one New Year's resolution almost every single year, oh, and yeah. especially this year. Of course. That could be uh, accomplishing and getting a new job that can get a new fiance or a girlfriend or a boyfriend, whatever it is for you. Um, there's a lot of different resolutions out there. I want to be better. I want to be more punctual. I, you know, I want to do this. I want to have a dog, whatever it is, <laughs> right? So it's up to you to pick what this goal is. And that's ultimately what a New Year's resolution is. It's a goal that you really, really want to achieve. Right. So let's put it in that uh, context, right, yeah. as a goal. And you know, with this, what are you doing right now to prepare yourself or get yourself in line to be successful to achieve that goal? Mm -hmm. And whatever it may be, like I said, it could be weight loss, it could be this. So you really got to break down what it is, right? Focusing on that and then break down the little steps, A through Z per se, of what it's going to take for you to achieve that, right? To get that result. And you know, with weight loss, there's a lot of different options out there. From Titan Medical Center, we have semi-glutide, we have AOD 9604, we have VCA Stack Plus, Titan Complete. Or just get your hormones checked, get everything right. It could be a underlying thing. issue, could be you a know. Thing, I right? love that. So, you know, you want to check into all these different options and make sure you're making a good, good decision about what you're gonna do. So you want to make an educated decision. And that's where some of these different things like blood testing and such can really come into play for you to help you along the way to make an educated decision about where you want to go and is this going to ultimately help you achieve that goal. Um, you know, hormones are a big thing, like she just said, but we really need to look at some of the other things that we're doing, right? So if we're trying to achieve a healthier lifestyle, 
we want to take the pillars of a healthy lifestyle and I talk about these quite a bit. So we're talking about a nutritional plan. We're talking about activity of some sort. We're talking about sleep, right? Yeah, uh, sleep. And, and making sure. Sleep. I want to sleep. <laughs> it's a big one for people out there. People, a lot of people these days do not get enough sleep. Mm. And it ultimately affects them the next day and so on and so on. It could be for energy. It could be for mental clarity. Um, it could be for their body, right? Their body might be falling out of shape. It's because they're not getting enough sleep. That means, you know, they have bags underneath their eyes. Um, you know, they look real tired. Yeah, it's just not healthy altogether. You know, your body's not recovering and your body does need that time frame. I don't care if you're a superwoman or a superman and you're like, I could just operate on four hours of sleep. Yeah, you might think you can operate on four hours of sleep, but your body really needs more than four hours of sleep. I mean, right. you should get at least a minimum, minimum six to seven hours right. of sleep. You should try for that anyway. Right. So, I mean, you need to take this in consideration. Now, outside of that, the New Year's resolution is to have a better relationship. What are those steps gonna look like, right? What are some of the different things that you're fumbling or were fumbling before that you're going to recuperate and start adding to what you're doing now? And that could be the simple things, right? Like putting down your phone. The, a, a great example of yesterday, mm. she's telling me about a girlfriend and a girlfriend, you know, is married and she wants to have you know, quality time with her spouse. But she says every time she tries to have quality time with her spouse, he's on the phone. And he won't put down the phone. So at that point, like, you know, what is the problem here? Well, it looks like it's the phone. The next thing is communication and communicating, hey, listen, this is a problem. Yeah, get right? off your phone. And, and you know, <laughs> basically get off your phone or whatever is the distraction, get away from it. So if you can recognize your faults, you can ultimately change what those problems are and make a negative into a positive. And if you say, hey, listen, I know I have a problem with the phone. So at that point, I know I need to put the phone down. And it might not be easy for some it's, people. It's there. not, especially people that are entrepreneurs or they work multiple businesses. I mean, especially people that, I mean, I know personally, it's tough for me to put the phone down. It's because yeah. it's constantly, constantly going. However, I have finally come to terms, right? That a one hour dinner, right? In that one hour, unless you're having dinner at prime time, which is five o'clock, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone has dinner at five o'clock, okay? Except all the lucky people get to go home at three. Mm -hmm. But that's not us. Um, but you know, at dinner, let's say dinner's at seven or eight, right? One hour of uninterrupted time. And this is with you, your kids, right? Your husband. It might just be you and your boyfriend. It might be your fiance, whatever it might be. So that uninterrupted time is important and nothing's gonna happen in that hour that's gonna change the rest of the night, right? I mean, if it was an absolute emergency, then it's an emergency. Right. But not everything is an emergency, right? It's, it's gotta be like a 911 emergency. Mm -hmm. And nothing is really gonna happen in that hour. And you think it, it will, and the hour seems so long. But think about how much you are contributing by just putting the phone down for a minute and actually getting like a chance to talk to your significant other, right? Mm -hmm. Listen to what their day was like. Mm -hmm. If you don't care, just pretend, you know, listen to what's going on in their life. Listen to what, what happened for the day. Why don't you guys talk about something funny or you guys are going to have to talk about something, right? Mm -hmm. You guys can't have these silent relationships, yeah. right? The silent relationships are the worst, right? You got these people and I see it all the time because we go to dinner, right? And John and I, that's like a big thing to me. I've always told him like, put the phone down while we're at dinner. Mm -hmm. Like this is our time. That's it. But you'll see people like, you know, at different tables and stuff and they're there alone and they're on their phones. Like they're not even looking at each other, they're looking down and they're on their phones like this. I'm like, wow, that must be a very interesting conversation, you know? So uh, listen, you gotta find a way to be able to conversate and, and be able to talk to each other and that's how you create the bond, you know? You're not gonna have communication if you don't communicate. Yep. So put your phone down, it's not, that, not that serious. I promise nothing's gonna happen in an hour. And it's, it's one thing, you know, when you've been in a relationship for a long time and you're doing this, and that's still a problem, right? Especially if your spouse thinks it's a problem. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is, is like when you're doing going on a first date, I've heard of people doing this on first dates. Well, obviously you must be bored. I mean, but, I mean, that's, that's what you would give off, right? They're not, but I have to, I have, I have this to do. I have to be a, like totally in the mix. Like that's not a good excuse. Well then make the date for another time. It's just not a good excuse. You know, make the date for a different day where you can allocate a window of one hour to talk to your date get to know your date. I mean, it's the worst thing in the world when somebody's talking to you and you're getting, this is the answer. Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm-hmm, yeah, sure, yeah, okay, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, uh, really? Ask, like, do you know what I was talking about? 
Uh, of course I do. All yeah, he, 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 he just has one ear open. It just, it's, this is not fair. He doesn't count. Okay, right. but <laughs> to regurgitate the whole conversation, that might be a different story as to what did I just say? <laughs> pretty good there too. <laughs> pretty good. Story. What, did, what did I just say? All right, just it's important it. though, you know, it's a, and that's a rule me and John have, right? right. We implemented it a while ago. That, hey, listen, when we're at dinner, especially if we're like, cause we never get to go anywhere and do anything anymore. I'm like, you cannot be on the phone cause there is nobody except for our kid that's more important than me right now. So. Because of that, the phone is irrelevant. And that's kind of the thought process that you should have when it comes to being with a significant other, right? I agree. I agree totally. I mean, it's really, really important to do. It's really important to give the significant other attention when you're first starting your date, when you've been in a relationship for 20 years, right? It's always work. And, you know, a relationship is another job. It really is. Yeah. And you know, you're like, well, I don't get paid from being in a relationship, but you really do. Yeah. You get paid with love, love care, affection. Uh, yeah, the affection, all these different things. That's what you're getting paid with, and that's what you should be reciprocating with too as well. Um, and it only works if both parties are reciprocating to each other. True. It doesn't work when it's a one-way street. Then somebody always feels like they're the odd man down, or they're the low man in the totem pole. I right. mean, it just they're like, well, I'll, and some the the low man in the totem pole might love the person on top. That person on top really doesn't care. Or they think, well, this is what it is, and I'll just go about my business. Or they just might take it for granted. That's a good one right there. Right? So, just take it for granted, like, oh, it doesn't matter what I do, what I say, or how I am. Yeah. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. Don't think that. So, guys, take this information for what it is. And your New Year's resolution, whatever it is, make sure you're planning to attack that so you can accomplish that resolution, whether it's weight loss, relationships, your job, your body, whatever it is. Don't just talk about it. You gotta be about it. You gotta be about it. You gotta be about it. So plan the steps. Write them down on a sheet of paper and attack each one. Don't look at the full picture. Attack each and every single little goal so you accomplish the ultimately big goal. So that's it, guys. That's the show for you guys. We're it's gonna... never it. We're gonna be back next week. We'll be back next week. <laughs> 11 a.m. ABC. Make sure you stay tuned. Tune in live or DVR us. And if you don't get to do that, don't worry because we play the shows on our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and don't forget all of our shows are on YouTube. Just type in Titan Medical Center, go press the subscribe button, hit the all notification bell, and you'll get to see all these cool shows and a lot, lot more cool content with me and my wife and a lot of the other cool Titan and Titanettes. We appreciate you guys. and We'll see you next Sunday on Cupid's Corner with me and my wife, the beautiful Sharice, of course. See you then.